Tell the Tape is sponsored by Geico, and you will see right away that Vostick has the height and reach advantage. Both men do well when it comes to their power punching, and they have a decent jab as well. Folks, here's all you need to know. We got a combined 28 knockouts in the 31 career total fights between these two. Okay, give a specific detail instruction in the locker room. I'm gonna tell you two things. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch close, bang at the bell. God bless you, God bless you. So here we go. For the Unified Light Heavyweight World Championship, Joe Tessitore, Tim Bradley, Andre Ward ringside on the call with you. Of course, when Andre retired undefeated, started broadcasting, Dre, you left the light heavyweight division open for a dynamic bunch of Eastern European powerful fighters, and these two have risen to the top. I left the light heavyweight division, Joe, in good hands mm. with these young fighters. And these guys are and better be of round number one. What should concern each man early on? Well, right now, Bogdix has to keep better be if off balance. He has to disrupt this rhythm with movement. He has to use his jab, and he has to change his location. He can't stand in front of better be if no longer than two seconds. And for better be if, he has to find a way to get inside the reach of Bozdick. He has to go down to the body early to slow down the taller man, because that's what you're supposed to do. And he has to land that big overhand right. Bozdick wants to stay smart early on, like you said, Tim. Doesn't want to get hit with the big shot early on. Doesn't have a lot of sweat on his body. He's sort of cold. He doesn't want to get caught, caught cold. The same with Better Bia, because he's been down as well. But Better Bia wants to press the issue and get Vozdik unnerved as early as possible to, a start to, a, to start to establish his dominance. Both men have been up off the canvas in their career. In the case of Vozdik, in his signature win, he was staggered badly in the 10th round before going on to an 11th round knockout of Adonis Stevenson. That is how he claimed the lineal in WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. I like what Bozdick is doing right now. He's taking the jab upstairs and also downstairs. You know, that's a good trade. He's trying to slow down. Better be here with those shots. Nice little right hand over the top as he escapes. And guess which way he moved? He moved to his right. Moving away from Better be his right hand. Beautiful combinations. That's exactly how you keep a puncher away. You got to let his hands go, and that's exactly what Bozdick is doing at the moment, letting his hands go at the right moment. There's a right hand to the body from Alexander mm. Bozdick as he was able to get underneath that left elbow. The middle of the forehead is starting to redden a better BF from mm. the punches right of Bozdick that he's been landing right down the middle. That's, of course, always the danger zone with better BF, that right hand. He is thudding with that right hand. There he is, moving out right, moving away. Not allowing Better be if to set up the right hand. That's what you do. You move the opposite way of the strong punch of your opponent. That's what Bozdick is doing. Circling to the right, time and again. Got to have smart enough offense, but even smarter defense against a guy who is 14-0 with 14 knockouts. 10, 10 seconds, it's for the bell. Good start here in our light heavyweight championship fight. Off balance that time at the end, and down goes Vostick. That is being scored a knockdown. That short clubbing work on the inside. That's terrible. That is terrible. You feel that shouldn't have been ruled a knockdown. You see Teddy Atlas yelling at the referee, Gary Rosado. Let's listen in. Let's look at the replay. Teddy Atlas comes all the way across the ring. Put it out of your head. Forget it. Relax. You look good. You got to relax a little bit. Relax. Deep breath through your nose. Let it out strong. One more. Here's what happened. You be the judge. Is this a knockdown? Is there a clean punch landed that scores? Looked like it was grappling. That was a takedown, Joe. It's not a knockdown. Boy, it looked like Bozdick was holding he, he on. He had his right hand around the neck, and then 
There is not a clean punch landed to score the knockdown of Bostic, but yet that's what it ruled. Now, you'll see Greg serve the commissioner up on the apron, speaking to Gary Rosado. There's the commissioner in the far end of the ring. That's Gary Rosado. Or excuse me, that's Greg Serb. Greg Serb, we had a conversation with earlier. We asked him about the use of instant replay. He said it's at his discretion listening to the referee here. All three judges have been informed now that that is being overturned to a slip. It is not a knockdown. Well done by the Pennsylvania Commission and Commissioner Greg Serb of utilizing the 60 seconds and the replay that's afforded to him and overturning that. As you should be. That's fantastic. Clear to see right here that the fighters get tangled up. A missed shot right there from Better BF, a glancing shot, and you see the left foot trip over the right foot of Better BF. Good call by the commission to look at the replay. Let's check in with Bernardo Asuna. I was right behind it. Greg served the commissioner as he was looking at the replay. He saw all three angles of it, and then he determined that it was the left hand that pushed down on Vozdik that caused that knockdown, immediately calling it a push. So here we are in a day and age of sports when every Monday and Tuesday morning becomes a national crisis over NFL replay review and officiating and boxing in about 10 seconds solves a problem like that. That's great. That's Go fantastic. Figure. I like it a lot. Me too, and I like what Vozdik doing right now. He is out boxing better be if using his jab, using feints occasionally. Landing combinations to the head and body. I love the fact that he's changing levels. He's going down to the body, throwing the jab down to the body, slowing down better be if. Great boxing. A warning from Rosado. Better be if tries to close that gap. Didn't do any work, though, on the inside that time. Tries to come over the top with that power that he's known for with the right hand. His right hand will come from many angles, clubbing, sometimes overhand. Mostly trying to split the guard against better BF. See, he keeps investing, and I'm talking about Bostic. He keeps investing in the body. That's going to show up later in the fight because we know better BF. He's only been 12 rounds once, and he knocked out his opponent in the 12th round. Over to Teddy Atlas to inform him that it was overruled upon review on the replay, and it was a slip. But he did not like how Teddy berated Gary Rosado, the referee, coming out of the corner. Okay, Bernard. That was the incident that happened at the end of one. You see better BF now. A little more free with that right hand, isn't he? Gaining confidence to step to Vostick and let it go a bit. Vostick over the top of that jab that time with a counter right hand, but better BF comes back with a right hand of his own and lands a big right hand, and Vostick ties up for a moment. Man, oh man, can better be a bring it. Better be is not worried about quantity tonight, fellas. No, no. He's worried about quality of punches. The punches he's landed, he's gotten the attention of Vostick. So a right hand from Archer Better BF, the clash of undefeated world champions here in Philly. Listen, get your Look exchange at right, yeah, I got you, Tim. Here's an exchange right here for both guys. Better BF landed a little bit with the right hand and a little bit grazing shot with the left hand. The referee trying to get control of the action, which is the right thing to do. Here we see that set, that grazing shot on the inside. Doesn't want to allow Bozdick to be comfortable inside. I don't blame Better Beer for that. He, that's what he's supposed to do. It's rough bows dig up. So that's fantastic. Round number three here. Two time Olympian is Archer Better Beer, 34 years old. Bozdick at 32 years old. So long amateur careers. Here you are, guys, 14 and 0, guys, 17 and 0. They say, listen, let's do it. Let's just get after it here right. and unify. Both these guys want to be great. That's why. Hall of Fame fighters, that's what they do. They take risks. See some of those right hands are straying just behind the left ear. It's better be if he's willing to throw some most crueling and looping right hands. Combination that time from Vozdek. Let's check in with Bernardo. 
Mark Ramsey said, look, we noticed in that first round how Bozdik was moving to the right. So I told Better be a cut off the exit with your left hook, and you won't be moving that way the rest of the night. Smart strategy, but you got to keep that left hand up as well, or else that will happen as Bozdik just landed a right hand of his own. Both guys have had success with right hands early on here. Ooh. There's better be if trying a different variation of the right hand. Just missed off the mark with the right uppercut. Doubles up that left hand. A short uppercut in better be if. Now tries to come around the guard with the right hand. One of the things that he that better that Vosdick needs to watch out for is throwing the jab from too close. You heard it from Teddy. That's the reason why he was clipped with that overhand, overhand right in the, in the second round, the last round, was because he threw the jab from too close. Based on the body language so far, I don't think Better Biev has much respect from Bozdick. I think he's got that big brother, little brother syndrome. Even though they fought 10 years ago, they came up in the same circuit, Better Biev feels like he's the dominant man tonight. It's palpable. You yeah. can sense it sitting here ringside that that is the belief and the confidence of Better Biev. As you reference what happened back in 2009 in an amateur fight between these two, when Better B have won by a second round TKO, he stopped Vozdik. He bloodied his nose. Right. It's almost like Vozdik is trying to prove to the bigger brother that I can finally beat you, and Better B have wants to prove to the younger brother that you're not there and yet. And I still got your number. It's body language. Yep, you can read it, you can sense it. It may not translate to a win for you, the guys, but that's what you're seeing right now. I'm seeing a little bit of a chess match as well. You see Bozdick, he's trying to move away. And you see Better be if trying to cut him off with the left hook. And occasionally he'll escape. Better be if. End of three here in Philly. Hall of Fame promoter Bob Arum has discussed this fight as being the most evenly matched, unpredictable fight he's promoted in his half century in the game. He's promoted far bigger fights, but when you think about two guys, prime of the career, undefeated, willing to do that at this point, to unify at this point. All week long, you talk to people throughout the fight game, you say, who do you like? They're changing their mind day after day. Exactly, I did the same thing on set. I changed my mind. You I always do me like it. that, Tim. <laughs> Every now and then, man. And you just, this is a tough fight, man. This is a 50-50 fight. Especially in an era right now, guys, where a lot of young fighters and fighters in general, they want to define their own legacy, yeah. right, and try to make as much money in the meantime. These guys, yes, they're making the money, but they're allowing the fights to define their legacy and the risk that they're taking to define their legacy. I got a lot of respect for that. Vostick comes forward with a two-punch combination. And Bozdick looks like he's changing strategy now. Throwing his combinations and bagging up better be if in spots. Letting his hands go. That's the key to keep the powerful man at bay, who is better be if. And better be if will be a lot more effective. And, and I'm sure the fans hear me say this every time we have a fight. If he came behind the jab, he could hide his power and sneak something in there. But I'm not going to call for that tonight from better be if because I don't think that's what's on his mind. He's looking to hurt. Bozdick with both hands, and he's not worried about the jab tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and let Better Biev just beat. But well, Better Biev is eating some shots right now as Bozdick Bozdick is attacking forward, changing the trajectory of the punch to the body and also to the head, confusing him with that. And I think that's part of Better Biev's strategy. He wants to bring Bozdick to him. He doesn't want Bozdick moving away. He wants to bring Bozdick to the power because sometimes Bozdick will lean over his feet. That gives Better Biev the best chance to land that right hand. Undefeated champions with unique skill sets, distinct styles, the thudding power in the right hand of Better Biev, the boxing, the speed, the skill of Vozdik. Fascinating matchup. Vozdik puts together a combination that included a right hand to the body. And then Better Biev returns fire in the midst of round number four, light heavyweight world championship unification bout. Joe, that's straight right from Better Biev to the Solar plex of Vozdik yes. was a heavy, heavy shot. And I and know Vozdik still feels it. And you see the effects right now, Dre. We that see the effects. Some, that takes some time to wear off. You can see the reddening 
on the left side of Vos Dix's solar plex. And then covering up for a moment here. It's been a pretty solid fourth round here for Vos Dix. And then he goes there again with a right hand, just touching north of that belt line. He has to continue to break down better be it. Vos Dix has to continue to invest in the body. That's going to bring him to the power, though, Tim. Our two world champions toe-to-toe -to -toe here in Philly. End of four, a quick break, and we will be right back. Mm. Here we see is. the body work from Better Be It right there, and the, and the work back to the head with the left hook. He's just he's just mauling Bozdick. He missed the right right there, but just even the elbows, even the physical strength of pushing him back, you better believe that that's starting to wear down Bozdick. Don't overlook the physicality of Better Be It. Better Be It has landed 24 of 87 punches thrown. Vozdik 20 of 107. At the end of that round, there was a moment where Better Be It came in and scored against Vozdik. And Teddy Atlas said to him, don't lose concentration. Yeah. You can't lose concentration for even a second. And you can't be on the ropes against these guys. If you be on the ropes, you'll stand up target for a big puncher. And if you lose concentration just for a split second test, well, you might have to pick yourself up off the canvas. Reminder, Sports Center is going to be coming your way once we get finished with this unification world title fight of all the reaction from the ALCS. That is coming up after top ranked boxing here on ESPN and the ESPN app. Round number five, the rare occurrence of a light heavyweight unification title fight between undefeated world champions. Better Biev is finding a home for the right hand. Straight right, overhand right. Two punches that landed flush on the chin of Bozdik. Better Biev's up three rounds to one, according to Andre Ward. Remember that first round, we had the knockdown overruled. Uh, video replay by Greg Sir, the Pennsylvania Commission. Went around, told the judges it was a slip. It was that big right hand scored in round two. I better be of his signature work so far early on. Tess, I actually had Vozdik winning that round before the push yeah. or yep. what was called a knockdown, so I reversed that and gave the, you know, the first round to Vozdik as I should have in the first round. As game. the judges also had to go about and change their scorecards, excellent job by the commission here. It seems like this is a more tactical fight for both fighters now. You see Better be if kind of stepping back, trying to, you know, look at the landscape right now and picking his spots to choose to attack Bozdick. And Bozdick right now is slowing down his offense as well. He needs to get on that jab and continue to work the body of Better be if. Neither fighter are body punches, oh, but they, with the punch they do throw well to the body is a straight right. You see that right hand? Yes. That better be if just landed. And there's another good body punch by Better be if. Here's oh. the deal with Better be if. Awkward at times, but everything has a little bit of a thud wrecking ball to it, no matter where it's aimed for. And then Meanwhile, Vostick firing back. Yeah. And able to get away from a right hand there. And now tying up on the inside is Better be if lets loose. Oh, he's rough in the inside, rough and tough. Bruiser. He's looking for any opportunity to land anything on those days. This is the right hand to the body. This is a signature punch this round. It landed twice, and that hurts. Here it is again, right in the solar plex, and you see Bo's dick taking a deep breath in. Moving a little bit off balance right there. Meanwhile, Mark Ramsey on the other side with Better Be is giving him the strategy he wants him to employ to do damage opposite the right hand. I love it. He said, throw the left hook. Yes. He throws the right hand, throw the left hook, it's open. So we will look for that. Will we see the left hook out of Arthur Better Be The focus all week long in the pre fight talk was. The right hand of Better Be of the right hand of right. Better Be of and now a wrinkle being put forth here from his trainer. There is the right hand of Better Be of as is often the case. The test is the variation of the right hands. Better Be of is landing. He's landing to the body. He's throwing an uppercut and he's coming around the guard and he just landed a straight right hand. 
Round number six. Everything on the line right hand by for these two. Good right hand to the body. And there's another right hand to the body from Better Biev as Vostik takes a step back near those ropes. And then he comes in with a right uppercut to Better Biev, trying to time him, a clubbing left hand. Vostik looking for a counter and punch, punching between the punches. Combination that finish with a right hand under the left elbow as well from Vostik. About 15 seconds ago, that straight right made Vostik get on his bike that hurt him. Yep. I don't think he's recovered. And better be up, knows it as well. No, he went straight back to the ropes, then made his way over to the neutral corner, and now he's looking for an opportunity, and he ties up and drives better be up back. Halfway through round number six. <laughs> Boy, he really brings that right hand when he wants to pull the trigger, doesn't he? And as Vostick was able to get away from it. And here's the thing, these fighters know each other way better than we know them. They came up in the same system. They only fought one time, but they knew about each other. They've heard things about each other. You know the guys that you're training alongside, guys that you are rivals with. You know the rumors, hey, this guy's a good fighter, but he doesn't have harder. Hey, this guy's a good boxer, but doesn't like pressure. Better BF knows the weaknesses of Vosdick, and he's taking advantage of those tonight. And the weaknesses are not necessarily what, what you see with the eye, it's the intangible. It's in certain moments, you'll see Vosdick give in a little bit, where Better BF hasn't shown that he's willing to give in yet. Well, one thing that really sticked out to me, Dre, in the fighter meeting, Ramsey said that we want to see if Vosdick is comfortable in every single range. And I said, well, what range do you think he's not comfortable in? He said, inside, in the pocket. And Teddy Atlas just warned him. Not too close when you jab. Yes. Beautiful shot. Great, great exchange by both guys. Yeah, but Bozdin got the better of that, and he hurt. Better be at it. Good Ooh. work there. Ooh. End of six is heating up here in Philly. Oh, and a clubbing shot. And they're saying no knockdown scores. We'll take a look at that replay. But that was not a knockdown at the end of six. See vicious exchanges from both guys. Better be at land a, a glancing shot. Both guys missed. It came over the top. Clubbing shot. No shots landed Behind in that sequence right there. But this was here's, earlier. Yeah, here's what he actually took place. A shot landed clean for Better be at. Bozdick landed a shot in the chin. We see that exchange one more time. You see the right leg of Better BF go to the side. That's a tall tail side Start that he was hurt. A little farther out. All right? Yes. Time him with right hands over his jab. Slip his jab, go around him with right hands. And sometimes give him a quick jab in the right hand. And go around him. Don't wait for him. Second down, let's go. And one other thing. Do not jab where you can count it. You hear me? Yes. Concentrate. See everything. Let's go. Concentrate. See everything. He's worried about the counterpunch coming over the jab on the inside. It was a fascinating last round. Now round number seven with our undefeated world champions here looking to unify. So you test that last round. That's what you call a championship round. A championship round is not necessarily the 12th round. It's certain points and certain fights where you're giving me your best, I'm giving you my best, but who's going to break? Who's going to wilt? Who's going to start to give in a little bit? Right now, it looks like Better BF has the edge, but Bozdick has not tapped out. He's still in this fight emotionally. Bernardo, what can you offer up? Mark Ramsey wants the tie to continue to turn in Better BF's flavor by making it a physical fight, having Bozdick on the inside and turning it into a bruising, punishing fight. Well, you don't have to worry about bruising and punishing when it comes to Better BF. I mean, he throws punches on the inside where his forearm ends up behind the guy's head at times. That's why you see this stuff that has to be overruled from knockdowns to slips. He's clubbing, he's awkward, he's thudding. He just comes in for demolition when he's on the inside. Trey, I see a little bit of what you're talking about, but I also see Vosdick having his ways, having his moments. He's letting his hands go with combinations to the head and body. He's landing his power shots as well on better BS. That's what I just said. It's going, both, it's going back yes. and forth. This is exactly the matchup that we thought we would have. 
But this is why a lot of guys don't take these kind of risks. They don't want to take these kind of fights. They don't want to deal with this kind of pressure for the whole world to see. Yes, but you know what happens? Nobody ends up losing. You el Both guys elevate, elevate because yep. of it. You become bitter, bigger and better in the game because of taking on challenges like this. You see the low points right here in this fight where no guy is willing to exchange. That's the time to work your jab. You got to get your jab working so that way you can steal the round. Both fighters fought at a torrid pace in the sixth round. I think this round both fighters are taking the round off. The last 30 seconds could determine who won this round. Good body shots right there from Better BF. Two left hooks to yeah, the box. Sneaky left. Doubled it up. A little knot on the left side of Vostik's face from the right hands of Better BF. See, Vostik's trying to get out at the right time and throw his combinations out distance. Jab that time. Yeah, and occasionally gets popped with the jab, sitting in still, sitting right yep. in front for a little bit too long. There's that left hook from Better BF. Remember, Mark Ramsey called for that a few rounds ago. Mm. Right hand to the body. That right Once here. they hear that clap of the final seconds of each round, we get intense action. Little low points in the fight. Has there to is. use the jab to win the round. There is Tyson Fury, the lineal heavyweight champion, sitting ringside to take this in. Round eight. And you look at the CompuBox numbers as they've been tallying it up, and the distinct styles and the back and forth, and yet look at how close. When we said it's evenly matched, here we are sitting in round eight. 89 punches landed from Better BF, 87 from Vostick. Mean Something's body gotta give. Yeah, mean body shot from Better BF just a few seconds ago. A right hook to the body. I think the right hands to the body have sort of been the X factor. Exactly. In it this is game. the X factor. Everybody was thinking the right hands up top from Better BF, but it has been the right hand to the body. And now Vostik comes back with a right hand to the left flank. Well, Vostik right now gotta answer some questions. You know, how bad is he wanted right now? You know, it seems like he's kind of withering away a little bit, losing concentration in this round, taking some big shots to the body and also to the head from better BF. Yeah, this, this kind of fight with even competition against another champion, champion versus champion, both fighters got to constantly, round after round, continue to answer questions yes. about themselves. Making adjustments on the fly. But again, a lot of fighters don't want to don't want to have to answer those types of questions. That right hand to the body keeps going there with it. Straight right hand to the body from Better BF. No measure, no measure. That has been targeted. And you see the offense. Bostic comes with a right hand over the top against Better BF, mm. and a one-two with a right hand that lands on the back end. That's what I'm talking about. Answer those questions. Gary Rosado admonishing clean, Archer right, better be it. Rosado has had to earn his pay tonight, that's for sure. And a lot of business still to be done. Credit to Bozdick. Better be if he's he's asking questions of Bozdick. And even though Bozdick will have a shaky moment or two, he's answering those questions well. Bozdick comes Beautiful. forward, two punch combination. He tries to back him up with the jab. Final half minute here. Corner actually yelling it out at the end of the round. Mm, beautiful right hand exchange from both guys. Good defense from Bozdick there in the inside. Good upper body head defense. movement to get away from yeah. those clubbing shots. A series of rights and lefts from Better BF. Good round. Sure was. Here we see Better BF stalking Bozdick. Bozdick lands a nice jab in a right hand, and he gets off the center and gets out of harm's way. Jab, right hand to the side of the head. 
and he gets out of harm's way because you know better, BF, he's coming back with his own firepower, his own heat. Hey, Dre, that's been his signature punch. The one-two has been landing for Bo's dick all night long. He cannot miss with that shot. And both guys exchanging punches right here. Wow. Right versus right. My goodness, and both guys taking them well. Vostick has thrown 290 power punches. Better be have thrown 193 jabs. When you look at the total punches, it's 101 to 104 advantage Vostick by three punches as we start round nine. That's how even it's been. If Vostick is throwing a volume, whereas Better be if. Whereas Barry Beef is throwing the more thudding punches. I don't know what that was. I don't understand why he stopped for just a split second. Nor did Gary Rosado. Whatever it was, Moe's Dick stole a few seconds to rest. Mm. Those are shots that right, that overhand right, he got to be weary of. Throwing the jab through, that body shot right there, that hurt him. You see the elbows get pinned down on. Dick. See, some of these rounds have been extremely close, but the body language of Better Beev has been better than the body language of Bo's Dick, so that'll cause a judge to sway in the direction of Better Beev because he looks like he's in command. And then you get these combinations coming from Bo's Dick. This is what happened earlier in the round as that straight left hand came he in. He, he got hit with a body shot and a he needed to breathe. body shot made him stop and get a breather. <laughs> well, you don't get timeouts in this sport. <laughs> He sold that. Joe. He sold it he to sold Gary it. Rosado. He absorbed the body shot, and now better be if you can tell senses things here. He's heard your right point, now. Dre. And now better be if is swarming here in the midst of round nine. Vostick ties up. But see that sequence right there, where there wasn't really any clean punches landed, but they tangle up, and better be if pushes Vostick off, and then walks right to him and pushes him off again. That's almost the equivalent of getting hit with two headshots and three body shots. That's Straight a lot up. to deal with. There's wear and tear, the elbows on the inside, the forcefulness, the, the grapple yes. of better be if. He just comes across as the sturdier, stronger, more dominant force. Body language. Right now, you're right, Tess. Body language. Another body shot from Better BF. This is a clear Better BF round as he's on the attack on the inside. Remember, Atlas told him he doesn't want him there to be careful at short range. He's exhausted. That's a big right hand right and there. And Better BF is mauling right now. Right uppercut comes in from Better BF. Two undefeated champs, but one's in control here in round nine right now as he's backing up. Vostick. He Man, better tie up. Better be. He's not allowing him to. Better be. He's not allowing Vostick to tie up. Both he's doing the right thing. Look he's at Better be. To the head and to the body, and then he's pushing him off and walking right back to him. Great work from Better be. There's a clean right hand right on the temple. Clubbing right hands. Remember, we described him as a little demolition derby. That's what he did in that round. To float a little bit. You can't let him go. Here he is, down. better be as moving you can't in, marching let him in. Walk you down. Give me that other body. There's a nice body shot. Right hand down. to the body. Folds up. Bow's dick. And he pushed down on his head, Tim. That's a lot to deal so with. It's, it's a lot of with another left hook. It's a lot of see right there. The physicality, yeah. the punching yeah. power, and the strength is left. too much yeah. thus far. It's wearing him down. It's wearing him out, Drake. Pull it together. You're a champion. Go in there and show that. What a Come great on, motivational speak right there. Come on. He is a champion. He's the WBC and lineal light heavyweight undefeated champion. But right now, he's a champion who's been hurt by another undefeated champion who's a big puncher. Teddy Atlas turns to Vozdik and says, make your body come back to you. Get back to it. But better BF has been relentless, and there's a right hand that comes over the top to open up this 10th round. Do the jab from a little bit too close, losing concentration just for a split second, and he paid for it. Watch your head, watch your head. Teddy's doing his job. He's saying all the right stuff, and I respect it. But if Bozdick doesn't believe it, and I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm led to believe he doesn't believe it, it's to no avail. And better BF doesn't believe that Bozdick is a better champion. He goes down! The rugged work of Better Beev collapses him, but he pushed him down, so that's being ruled a slip. Wow. 
But watch out here. Still two minutes to work. And Better BF is so powerful, so strong. Push down, push down. Break, break. He makes a fight of it. Everything he does comes with that brawling, powerful, thudding, mauling kind of presence. Postick just walking chest to chest, getting a moment to try to recover and rest. Halfway through round number 10. Undefeated champions in a unification bout. Better be up getting the best of it here on the tail end. Right hand comes in again. Then a short left hand on the inside. Vostick is hurt. Vostick goes down. Still a minute to go in round 10, and here comes Better BF. He wants to close the show. Trying to become a unified champion. Can Vozdik survive here and make it to these championship rounds? Short left hand. He goes down again. Better BF is dominating here. Second knockdown scored in this 10th round. One more chance, fight's over, all right? Then One more shot. chance, he says. Artur better be at 14 and 0 with 14 knockouts is number 15 in front of him. Trying to come over the top with the right hand. That's it. It's over. Artur better be at is the unified light heavyweight champion of the world. round by Better BF and the team from Montreal is celebrating he is perfect 15 and 0 with 15 knockouts great great fight but Better BF's power won the day. Here we see Better BF. He knew Vozdik was on his way. It yeah. was nothing to look out for anymore. Vozdik was not trying to win. He was trying to survive. Better BF sensed that. He landed big right hands. Here we see him step to the side, land a grazing shot right there, another flicking shot. But Vozdik was already hurt. It didn't take much to put him to the ground. What exactly what he did was he took him back 10 years ago when he knocked him out. That's what he took him back to. Pressuring him, bullying him in the inside, being rough and tough with him, and landing his power shot. Look at it. As they wrestle and tussle in the inside right here. And better be it. Stocking forward. Being hungry, being determined, found a way to get this job done. And here's the end of the fight. And the ref seems enough. Knock down number three. And better be it. Two times. Let's make it official. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 49 seconds in round number 10. Our referee in charge, Gary Rosado, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated. He is now the IBF and WBC light heavyweight champion of the world, Artur Better B. The 34-year-old who grew up in Russia, one of five brothers, the family had financial struggles. His father was killed in a car accident when he was 16. The year that Artur Beterbiev was sent off to a sports academy to start his boxing career. And now here he is in Philly, on top of the world, with a incredibly impressive 10th round knockout. Two belts and the claim of lineal champion. Artur. You told your father that you were going to become a world champion. What does it mean for you to be able to unify these belts tonight? You know, for, for this moment, it's my important fight, you know, most important fight. And you know, I had, I had big work, you know, for prepare for this fight. You know, maybe it's, it's fight, maybe my life fight, you know, but 
I'm happy. It's for the end, you know, happy for the end. Oh, no, happy. Thank you very much for everybody. You got your 15th knockout in 15 fights. What was the key to your victory tonight? I think you have to ask uh, my coach about that. You know? <laughs> I, have, I have two coaches, you know, two or three coaches. I have, uh, you know, we work hard, you know, in gym. We work hard and we have some targets, you know. When I first target, second target, and another one became soon, I think so. So, speaking of, Bivo has a title, Kovalev and Canelo fight. Who do you want to fight next? Doesn't matter. Anyone. Anyone. I'm focused for title, not for name, you know. Well, you've got two, and you can call them all out now. Yes. Thank you very much, Joe. You know, it's, you know, when I got second belt, I'm plus motivation now, you know. I'm, I'm now, you know, I, I do like training like so-so. Now I do very hard, you know. I will do. Yeah, that's scary for the rest of the division. Thank see, you very much. Thank you very much for everybody for support me. And хочу поблагодарить российских болельщиков, всю Россию, Украину. Ничего, ничего страшного сегодня. Александр Гвоздик проиграл. Следующий раз выиграет. То есть это бокс. Кто-то должен был сегодня выйти здесь победителем.